Good afternoon, everyone. So we will be waiting for the participants to join in to start class today. The class is provided by CECA and the class is free of the cost. You do not have to pay anything and you can attend any number of classes. There is no limitation to the number of the classes you can attend. And also there are no any hidden charges like that. So the one thing, the PT session is also going on Monday to Friday and we do have PT on the Sunday as well. So you need to just look for the links and on the given number, you can have, give a call and ask for the link for the classes. And same implies to Nati CCL classes. If anybody you know after classes or you are yourself after the Nati CCL classes for the languages, Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu and Nepalese, you're more welcome to join those session as well. And those are also free provided by the, uh, uh, the experienced trainer. And uh, here, the migration counseling is free. Canada migration options, you can assess that. Have your eligibility check on your documents. That is also free. And we do are uh, doing the uh, free tier lodgement these days, right? So these all are the services I'm mentioning here. You do not have to pay anything for that. They are free of the cost. No hidden charges, nothing like that. So it is just simple. You give a call and ask for the piece of advice or service you are after, right? And today, uh, the first uh, session of the class, we will be doing the practice. And the uh, second session, we will be doing the task one, right? So depending again on how many number of students we are having of academic or journal, we'll be deciding on the same. Right, now moving towards the uh, reading first. So as you know that the reading, we did the general one. So today I picked up two topics and they are from the recent exams, right? So those are the one we will be practicing today. So quick question, like 14 in both the uh, uh, paragraphs. So first we'll be doing the one with the academic context. The second we will be doing with the general context, right? So these are, these are from the recent exams. So concentrate and see what kind of exams are coming these days, right? So there is no repetition in the YALS exam, but yes, they give you an idea what you will be facing in the real picture, right? So here, let me move straight to the uh, uh, practice and uh, so that we can save the pretty good uh, time for the task one description, right? So let me stop it here and share the screen again with you with the set of question on it. So here, as you can see here, it says striking back at lightning with lasers, right? So first of all, this is the passage we will be doing and this is the first question, which is an MCQ. That means the main topic discussed in the text is, right? So the main topic discussed, there are four options given. So we have to decide which one is correct out of the uh, given letter A, B, C, D, right? So I'm removing the instruction, right? So this is the first question. So quickly, I want an answer from you guys. And in the chat box, you can send your answer me, answer to me and uh, just change the setting of that, uh, that your answers will flash to me only. So understand this question. The main topic discussed in the text is the damage caused to US golf courses and golf player by lightning strike or the effect of lightning on power supplies in US and Japan. A variety of method used in trying to control lightning strikes, a laser technique used in trying to control lightning strike. So the main thing, first always we have to read the instruction. So I removed the instruction because uh, I cannot buy space here uh, for the text and the question uh, to show you. So the second thing, when you read the instruction, you have to read the question. So our question is main topic discussed, right? After that, if it's MCQ, we're reading the all option given. Right, taking out the keynotes from those options as well. The first one is about the damage cost. Second is about the effect of lightning on power supply in US and Japan. The third is variety of methods. So you see every option is different in itself, right? So we got, we need to take out the keynotes from those and then we moving back to the uh, passage itself. And then we are looking for the main concept discussed in this all, right? So maybe for this sort of question, the main topic discussed, we have to skim the uh, entire thing, right? Because this is such a question, which is about the main topic in the text, right? And also headings are the main topics. You can take a clue from that as well. Uh, you can even take the clue from the 
uh, conclusive sentences as well. You see the last sentences of the passage, they also give you clue of the main topic because they conclude their things up in regards to that, right? So according to that, just pick one option and don't uh, spend too much time on this question. Whatever you feel is the right option after reading it, after skimming the passage, just send that to me out of ABCD and we'll be moving forward. And after, yes, definitely we'll be discussing uh, what is the option here and how we can check out the option for these type of questions. So don't spend too much of time. Give a quick shot to this question and send your answers, please. Okay, that's right, Sean. You get my, uh, actually, you got my piece of advice. You understand it as well. That makes you find this answer really easy. Okay, so I'm giving other people just one minute. It's 2.17, 2.18. And that's the time you're sending me your answer. Whatever you feel is the answer. Just mark it so that I can tell you how you can find it quickly. Rather than spending too much time on this question. Okay, this is not right, Zarina. Currently, I'm expecting an answer from everyone so quick. Maybe right, maybe wrong, doesn't matter. But we have to learn a technique here. Mio, this is not right. Aman, you are pending with the answer. And Jyot as well. Okay, no, Jyot. Uh, please send your answers quickly. It's 218. Is it C? No, it's, it is not C. Yeah, I mean, uh, Joe, this is right. Okay, let's talk about the answer here. You see what it is asking. The main topic discussed in the text is, right? So the main topic, that means we have to look first at the introduction. Uh, that means the topic given. So topic here, it says striking back at lightning, striking back at lightning with lasers, right? That's the uh topic or that's the heading of the whole of the passage so whatever is there in the heading so basically that's what the topic is about you see this is as simple so i am going after this option it says damage caused is cause effect of lightning supply it caused a variety of method used in trying to control lightning strike but here it is not talking about variety of method what they are just focusing on the striking back at like with lasers so a laser technique used in trying to control lightning strikes. This is sort of paraphrasing the same one. The right option here is D. So if you got such a question, right? So if you got such a question, so you have to see if it's about the main topic discussed in the text and question is in the beginning of the, uh, uh, the entire set of the question or at the ending. So yes, there are two methods. Just go to the hint, uh, just go to the introduction heading of the topic or maybe just come back to the later part. That means the conclusive sentences. So either two of the position, you will get your answer, right? Now let's see the next question here. So now we are doing it all together because if I give you time, you take a lot of time. Uh, okay, just so let me show you the second one. I'm removing this one, just a second, almost done. Yes. 
So here is the second one. Consider it A, B, C, D only. It says, according to the text, every year lightning, right? This is the question here. Does considerable damage to building during thunderstorms, kills or injures many golfers in the United States, kill or injures around 500 people throughout the world, or damages more than 100 American power companies? So we got four options here, A, B, C, D, consider them A, B, C, D. So according to text, every year lightning, what it do? What it kill or injure or damage? What sort of thing is do? First, look for this particular verb, kill, injure, or damaging. And according to that, you can narrow down your search for this question, and you can come down to the one right answer more quickly and more easily. Because these are two things where are injuries and killing are mentioned. But these two options having the damages uh, in the context of these two, like A, A and D, and B, C stand with kill of injury. So this is also one way to just look into the MCQs and trying to narrow down our search, right? So just quickly have a look at it and let's see how you're finding the answer here. So just give yourself target time that I'm giving myself two minutes. So that's the time I'm giving to you. Okay, Aman, your answer is right. Very good. All right, so Jyoth, your answer is not right. Mio, answer is not right. Shan, answer is not right. And then just one. Zareen, you left. Sorry, Zarina, you left. Oh no, this is not right. Okay, so here let's see what it is asking. It is asking according to the text, uh, Yes, uh, no, this is both not right. Every year lightning. These are the four options you have read. Let's go back here. Seldom is the weather more dramatic than when thunderstorm strike, right? Their electrical furry inflicts death or serious injury on around 500 people each year in the United States alone. As the clouds roll in, a leisurely round of golf can become a terrifying dice with death out in the open. A lone golfer may be a lightning bolt, most inviting target. And there is damage to property too. Then lightning damage cost American power companies more than 100 million a year. If you go after this question, so first option is something American power company they mention here, they mention here as well. But they're talking about the company is having the cost which is 100 million a year. They are not saying the 100 American power companies are having uh, damage, right? More than no, this, this is something different. They're just confusing us with the D option. So this is out of context, right? Kill or injure around 500 people throughout the world. Here they say it's it caused death or a serious injury on around 500 people, right? But they're talking about US alone. So this is also eliminate, to be eliminated, not right. This is talking something else, it's saying something else. Kill or injure mainly golfer in the US, uh, United States. So as the, it says as the cloud roll in, they're saying the golfer is the like most inviting target, but doesn't mean that like he's the only target and that too in the United States. First of all, United States is men uh, not mentioned there. And secondly, Golfers are not the only target, but they're saying they're most inviting target, right? 
does considerable damage to building during thunderstorm so there is a damage to property so this is the bill this is the sentence which we getting same here doesn't have any uh, other meaning any other sense it is prevailing it in or conveying any other meaning it's simply saying the property yeah the building that's the property and we're talking about thunderstorm yeah and it do uh, damage to it as well yes it do a damage to it as well so according to text every year lightning does considerable damage to buildings during thunderstorm our options can be from b c and d but they are not exactly same as they have mentioned it in the paragraph right so this make this uh, all the option to be eliminated all right so now you learn the different things now you are learning the different things to work on the questions here i'll show you the next question so this one you are just working by yourself and getting to the right answer and i hope this time you getting it uh, accurately and more quickly so let's see this here the third question on the screen says researchers at the university of florida and at the university of new mexico receive funds from the same source are using the same technique are employed by commercial companies are in opposition to each other first we have to look researchers then we have to look florida uni and uni of new mexico right then we will be seeing like what is common in them or what is uh what the main uh thing their opposition okay whatever the options given are according to that we are matching and keeping it or eliminating it so let's do this question give yourself target of 2 minutes and solve it up so as we did the first two question just the same technique you will be following with this one So I got to answer. I'll be looking at them. I'm waiting for other students to send their answers here. And the answer I received for this answer a uh, uh, question from Zarina. It's right. From Aman. It's right. So good going, guys. So just look into and what are you looking here for? about university of florida researchers and university of new mexico researchers what we are reading about these two institution people
Okay, so three more answers, and I believe everyone has given here an answer. Okay, Zarina, Aman, and Zarish, your answers are right. Mio and Jyot, your answer is not right. And Shan, you haven't sent your answer yet. Be quick, please. You guys need to learn how to quickly move up with the questions. Shan, you have to send answer right now. Shan, you there? You listening me? I suppose she's not there. All right, let's talk about this question. Researchers at the University of Florida and the University of New Mexico. If we go here and find the certain two names, first, the researchers of uh, Florida, University of Florida, we get this name here in this paragraph. And uh, here it is. They are doing some testing at Florida run by the University of Florida. And who is funding the project? EPRI, right? And EPRI is in, I mean, forward it funded by the power companies, right? So you see, this is saying that University of Florida project is funded by EPRI, right? And here we are coming here and we're looking for the another key note. I'm not getting it here. I just keep kept on reading because this is the how the strategy work. Okay, now here I got University of Mexico. So what they are talking about it. So I maybe need to go one sentence up to that. It says what goes up must come down and point out Jen Claude Diles of the University of Mexico is leading a project backed by, which is backed by EPRI, right? So it is also backed up by the EPRI. So that means researchers at the University of Florida and at the University of New, New Mexico, they're receiving funds from the same source, which is EPRI, right? They're not using the same technique because they're just working on some other project. If you have read it, you get it. Are employed by commercial companies. This is not uh, the subject even here. And are in opposition to each other. This is not either mentioned about both of them. So what both of them, which is common, that they're receiving funds from the EPRI. So they receive fund from the same source. So A is the answer here. So let's move to the question number four. I'll just show you up. Just a sec, bear with me. So this time we are doing the next set of the question, um, which is about complete the sentence below, right? So the next questions are about completing the sentences and uh, we have to write our answer in no more than two word, right? So this is the question number four. No more than two word, remember this one. This is the format of the question, right? So format of the question means that you cannot use more than two word for your answer. If you're using them, you will be losing that mark, right? I'll just show you where the blanks are for this question. Just a second. Where is the text of it? Okay. So the blanks are for this question are uh, at the end, end of the sentence. So every blank is at the end of the sentence. So here it's the, uh, it is here. Here. And sorry. Oh, get it here, right? So this is at the end of the sentence. Every every uh, question blank is at the end of the sentence. So EPRI receive financial support from Dash. The advantage of the technique being developed by Dite is that it can be used Dash. The difficulty associated with using the laser equipment is related to it. So here is the blank. Uh, right. You cannot write more than two words for your answer. So be quick. I need all four to six answer from you guys and I'll, I'll be telling you how you can save time here and find answer more quickly. And if you remember, we did a question of the same nature just now. So this is also one technique we learned from 
solving the question together that if I am looking at a question and I read something, I kept in mind, of course, I take a note of that thing. Any question comes in that, I go straight to that place in the reading, finding answer there and writing it up here. So quickly, four to six. I won't be giving you much time here. Just I will give you the five minutes. So five minutes is the time to you. So expecting the fast answer here, one minute has passed, four minutes left to you guys. You have to just go. The first answer is quite easy. I know that. Then you have to look for the second. The advantage of the technique being developed by diet. So diet is in the bad behavior paragraph when we were reading about the University of Mexico. So. Four answers are received. Let me see them. Okay, so Zarina, fourth answer is right, and uh, fifth and sixth is wrong. Zarish, fourth, fifth, and sixth is right, and uh, Mio, fourth, is right only. And uh, Aman fourth is right only, right? And I am expecting answer from Sean again. Sean, I don't know whether you're there. No, yeah, I'm back, sorry. Okay, okay, fine, okay. So send your answer so that I can talk about these one. 
All right, so got the answer. So your answer for fourth is right. Yeah, and uh, no, fifth is I'm still wrong. Okay, you see fourth, everyone get that because we just did it. EPR received financial support from. So here we were talking about and which is funded by financial reports funds, same thing, power companies. So this is very clear here. When we did the question number three, we got it. Now, the advantage of technique being developed by diet is that it can be used dash. So diet is here. Diet is leading a project backed by EPRI. Try to use laser. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. This is not right for fifth Jodh. So this is like, this is to discharge lightning safely so what is the advantage that it helps to discharge the lightning safely that it can be used safely that's the biggest advantage of the uh, technique developed by diet right then the main difficulty associated with the laser equipment we're talking about the equipment itself this is about the behavior of the lightning the whole paragraph you read it this is not talking about the um uh, you see, this is not about the uh, this equipment itself, the laser equipment itself. So here, when it is start talking about like how it is and however, there is a still big stumbling block. The laser is no nifty portable. It's a monster that takes up the whole room. Dial is trying to cut down the size, right? That mean the dials laser equipment and the major difficulty with this that, that it is a monster who takes up the whole room. So if I have to pick up a word here, so the main disadvantage or difficulty associated is with the size of the equipment. So the main difficulty associated with using the laser equipment is related to its size. I hope the answers are clear here. Am I clear here, guys? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right, so you get it. So you have to understand what the sentence is moving toward. And according to that, you can only pick your answer. You cannot pick your answer randomly. Like you're picking discharge lightning. You're not understanding that it can be used discharge lightning. No, it's making no sense. Safely, yeah, advantage. We are looking for something, you know, merits of the project. Then we are looking for some difficulty of the project, right? Okay, let's move to the next set, 7 to 10. Okay, just a sec here. So, 7 to 10 question stands with. We have to complete the summary now. Summary is sort of uh, um, like uh, filling in the blanks. Like this, you can see here. So, we have to fill these blanks up. We cannot pick up option by ourselves. We have options given by the uh, examiner. So, the option we are picking up, we even not, either not, what are you doing, Joe? Don't do that. Don't do annotate. Okay, I'll just disable that. Just a sec. Okay, so here you see there are the option given and these are option having the alphabetic order. So whenever I'm feeling this option is my answer, I'm not writing the word itself. If the alphabets are given before that, I'll be picking up the right alphabet, right? So just a second. Okay. Uh, okay. Just a sec. Uh, I'll just show you up here the option, and I know you can understand that. Yeah. So we got A to I. These are our options here, and this is the question number. Uh, 
just bit up. Yeah, all good. Let me freeze it. Okay, you see in this method, a laser is used to create a line of ionization by removing electrons from dash, right? So now we have to find first of all where this information is said in the um, in this um, a paragraph passage. When we get that area, then only we can find out our options easily. For that, first read this whole summary. Maybe without option, but read this. Then go back. Maybe you remember something you have read here. Then probably you're looking back here again. And that what I believe, yes. If not, then maybe in the further uh, line, you're getting your uh, further upcoming uh, sentences, you're getting your answer. So it, well, first of all, read it and see what it is basically talking about. Then according to that, you fix picking up the option and fixing here. So these are four questions, summary, lengthy. So I'll be giving you around eight minutes for this. So just quickly look around and start finding the answer here and don't use too much time here. Be quick, seven minutes altogether, which is way too much. This one is difficult, I know, but understand it. One or two option, you get it. So easily you will be reaching to every other option as well.
Shan, seven and eight is right. Nine and ten is wrong. Okay, I am about to say answer. So waiting for the answer so that I can at least see what you have found in in the time I've given to you. It's not seven minutes yet, I guess, or is it? So yes, Zarish, your answer number seven is right. Aman, your answer number seven, not right. And Zarish, you don't have to write the word, you write to you have to write the alphabet. Even in the exam, if you're writing the word instead of the alphabet given, your answer will be marked wrong because it is not in the given asked format, right? And Aman, your answers are not right. Jodh, first to write. Mio and Zarina, you guys are sending your answers. And then who left? Yeah. Okay, so seven and eight is right, Mio. Okay, so um, Zarina, I'm waiting for your answer if you can send them. Yeah, seven and eight is right. Um, Sean, this is for the nine. Uh, oh no, this is not right. And Zarina, 10th, no, this is not right. Okay, so let's see the answer here. In this method, a laser is used to create a line of ionization by removing electrons from dash. So the idea began some 20 years ago because there is a word line of ionization. So we have to start reading from up there. When high powered lasers were revealing their ability to extract electrons out of atoms and create ions, right? So method laser used to create line of ionization, that is the ions, by removing what? Electron, that means extracting electrons from what? From or out of atoms. So B is the option for two C or seven. Then this laser is then directed at dash. So then they have this line of the ionization, which where they are directing to in the air, all the way up to a storm cloud, right? So C, so this laser in, is then directed at storm clouds. So C is the option here. In order to control electrical charge, a method which is less dangerous than using dash. So you see, you read this one, like they just way this move up to the storm clouds and this conducting path could be useful, used to guide the lightning to earth before the electric field becomes strong enough to break down the air in an uncontrollable surge. So basically they have paraphrased the whole thing in order to control electrical charge, electrical search a method which is less dangerous than using what so when you go back to this uh, same uh, when you are just doing this the passage what they were uh, having uh, you know striking the lightning first with they were using rockets right and what they saying that they have limited frequency and the failure rate is above 40 percent and even when they do trigger lightning things still do not according go to plan because lightning is not perfectly well behaved and it will take a branch and go someplace and it wasn't supposed to go. You see, this is like they are comparing the things with the rocket. The laser technique is compared with the rockets. So here then comes the option number G, rockets. As a protection for the laser, the beams are aimed firstly at 
so protection from the laser what they do so instead it would be directed at a mirror you see this is to stop the laser itself being struck like the protection from the laser that it struck itself it not be pointed straight to the clouds instead where they will be pointing it to they will be pointed directed at a mirror and from there into the sky so firstly the beams the light is aimed uh, or the laser it aimed the beams of the laser aimed firstly at the mirror so we have d option mirrors so b c g and d right so these are the right options here so you get the b and c easily because nine you haven't understand the process here you just fixing like clouds appear or looking for here but you keep in mind what this is compared to right i know this one is tricky this will not be the general case in the reading but yes it can be there it can be the case like this question as well so you have to just broaden the vision and look for the answer and the last one is easy but i don't know how you're not getting it like they're placing this through mirror and then from there they're placing it into the sky okay so let's do and move to the question number 10 11 to 14 and just a second 11 to 13 i guess so it is saying we have to see the statement is yes no not given that's the question here yes no not given right just a second i will show you so here it is yes no not given so these are the category of question we will be doing now three question in here first says and i told you to divide the statement into three parts that's what we will be doing right now here we will be dividing the statement into three parts power companies have given dial enough money to develop his laser right so we will be dividing it into three parts the power companies have given dial enough money to develop his laser so if the statement is right yes opposite no not there is no information on it not given yes shan okay good goodbye yeah so see this is the first question then second and third so give answer to these three in another 5 minutes So now we got an understanding of the passage as well. No, no. This is yes, no question. Yes, no, not given question, Aman.
Jyoti, 11 is right. 12, 13 is wrong. Zarish, 11, 12 is wrong. No, Amman, these are wrong. No, these are not right, Mia, as well. Okay, so this is five minutes. You see, the power companies have given Dials enough money to develop his laser. I cannot say I have money yet, but I am working on it. Whose words are these? Dials, right? He's trying to cut down the size, but he is not having enough money with him, right? but he's working on it. So power companies have given Dial enough money to develop his leather. So answer will be no, they have not. Obtaining money to improve the laser will depend on a test in real storms, right? And then with same like that, he reckons that, that this is the person he reckons that, the forthcoming field test will be the turning point and he is hoping for good news. Bernstein predicts an avalanche of interest and support if all goes well, right? So he expect to see loud zipper eventually costing this other scientists. So basically, if everything goes well in the real storm test, so obtaining money to improve the laser, it, it depends on that factor as well. So answer to this question is yes. Weather forecasters are intensely interested in dial system. So dial is saying here that, that it could benefit the uh, scientist, right? Then uh, he's talking about the controlling the forecasting and the weather as well, right? But you see nowhere it has mentioned, you read it through that the weather forecaster itself are intensely interested in dial system. So it is a not given answer. So it goes here like no, yes, and then not given, right? Any doubts here? All good? No. Yes, ma'am. All right, that's good. Okay, so this was an academic passage we did. And you see it's a bit tricky. It got academic language answers are like uh, embedded, but you see, if we understand the techniques behind the answer, we did three types of answers, question answer today. Summary, we did uh, MCQs, we did this now, the yes no question. And you see, what are the different techniques we implemented and answers came out really easy to us at that moment. So we have to learn this paraphrasing technique because answers always are there in front of our eyes. It's just that how we are looking at them, right? So now let's move to the next passage. This is about the passport application and this is uh, of the uh, general context, right? So just a second. 
uh, yeah so it is about the passport application one to seven number question are from this one and uh, we don't need this passage right now because the further question are from this one so i'm just picking it up from here right okay Right. So here is the passport application passage. We got the first seven question here. They are yes, no, not given. And fair enough, right? So just now look at these question. Statity will remain same, right? But the text is easy, but at the same moment, tricky, right? So now just start finding the answer to this question. Divide the statement into three parts and then match it up with the description.
Aman, first answer is wrong. Second is wrong. Third is wrong. Fourth is wrong. Fifth is wrong. Sixth is wrong. Seven is wrong. And Zarish first is right, second is right, third, four, fifth, right, six is right, seven is right. So all correct. Very nice. You see the difference in academic and general. Mio, first is right, second is wrong, third is right, fourth, fifth wrong, sixth is right, seventh is wrong. Jodh, first wrong, and then uh, seventh wrong, first and seventh. Okay, let's understand the question here, which are quite easy, but yeah, at the same time, I would say tricky. First question says, a husband can fill in an application form for his wife. So first paragraph, last sentence, your application form must be completed in your own handwriting. Right? So there is nothing written like that, that I have a husband can fill in an application from uh, for his wife, right? So basically, it's a false answer. You have to fill it by yourself. Then photocopies of document are acceptable in some circumstances. So photocopies are not accepted as they have mentioned. All documents, second paragraph, must be original. Must be original, false. An incomplete application will affect processing time. Third paragraph, standard time to process. Applicant should accept delays if the passport office receive a form with missing information. Extra time should be allowed for delivery to and from the passport office. So third is true. Just a, mon just a minute. Okay, the fourth one, the passport photos included with your application must be in color. So the passport photos, uh, the fourth paragraph, they need to be identical in all respects, must be less than 12 months old. They're not talking about color here, so not given. The fifth one, a witness can be a relative of the applicant. Guys, first of all, you don't have to assume things here. Maybe you know the regular routine passport process, you know, reference process of the passport, the photos process of the passport, but you are not using your own knowledge assumptions here. You are only looking at the text given and according to that, you are picking up your answer. Any assumption, any knowledge by yourself used without uh, in regards to the text given, your answer will be wrong. Now, a witness can be relative of the applicant. So the paragraph last, ask someone who can identify you to fill in the proof of identity information and identity one of your photos. This person will be called your witness and needs to meet the following requirement. Must be age 16 or over, contact, uh, contactable by phone during normal office hour and be the holder of valid passport. But they never said, that can be a relative of the applicant, right? So that's why I make it a not given answer because this piece of information is not given. Then anyone acting as a witness must have a passport that what we just read, holder of a valid passport, that anyone who acting as a witness must have a valid passport. So this is true. The last 
the passport applicant must sign their name on the back of both photos. So this is there in the same paragraph. The passport applicant, they're saying the applicant itself must sign their name. Sign their name where? On the back of both photos, right? And if you see here, they are saying a witness should fill in the proof of identity page in their own handwriting. A witness must also write the full name of the person applying for the passport on the back of one of the photos. So first of all, it's not applicant who is writing the name, signing the name, right? And it is not signing the name, it's writing the full name. And secondly, it is not in back of the uh, both photos, it is back of one of the photos. So this is false. So these are the answers here. And these are the description mentioned in the text. We just following the text wholeheartedly. We're not going after any assumption we have personally. Any piece of knowledge we are sharing here for writing the answer to question, right? Okay, so these are the seven questions from the general reading text passport application. Now moving to the next one. This is the next where it says Auckland International Airport Services. Right. So you see here, it has given us list of heading and there are the paragraph numbering given. Uh, the numbering you can, oh sorry. A numbering you can see. This is A paragraph and according to the paragraphs you have to find out the right of uh, list of heading here and options are given uh, in the Roman numbers. So for whatever paragraph you finding a suitable heading you writing the option in Roman number. Right A B C D F D. Right now, this is one, two in Roman number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. So, and the question starts from eight to fourteen. So, it's like in order at the paragraph A is eight, nine B, ten C, D is eleven, E is twelve, and F is fourteen, or uh, sorry, thirteen, and G is fourteen. Right, so accordingly, you can mark the uh, numbering of the question one uh, eight to fourteen according to the number of paragraph. Because I'll just if I just move the screen, uh, I see if I can do that. All right, so eight to 14 headings are there. So there are small paragraphs. So you're reading them all and you're getting the answers.
Hurry up. It's 326. So, okay, answers are by mail. You have written in the numerical form, all right. Okay, let me see. All right, so the answer number 14, mail, 14. What you have did here, I don't understand. Okay, G. Okay, G is right. And F is right. And uh, E is wrong. Yeah, E is wrong. And uh, D is right. C is right. B is right and A is right. And Zarish A is right. Oh, now how you have given the answer. Okay, according to number five, thank you very much. Eight is right, nine is right. And uh, 10th is right, 11 is right. 12 is uh, right, 13 is right and 14 is right. Yes, they are right. And uh, Jodh, A is right. So the one which are wrong, you can look around them. B is wrong. What you are doing here? I don't understand, Jyot, how you're sending your answer. Firstly, you mention A, then you mention B, then I don't get it. I'll start from the 10th one, which I'm getting. Okay, nine is right, 10 is right, 11 is right, 12 is wrong, 13 is wrong, 14 is right, and eight is right, right? Yes. Aman, your answers. The answer number A, paragraph A, which is saying the second floor of the international terminal 
offers a view of the airfield and all incoming and outgoing flights. There is a cafe situated here as well as restaurant, which is available for all airport visitors to use. So this is the second option, which says the observation area, right? So that's the answer for this paragraph. Then the paragraph B, uh, we are open for all international flights and provide a comprehensive service for visitors to the city. Brochures on a range of attractions are available. And we also offer a booking service for accommodation and transport, shuttle buses into the city center and provided at a competitive price. Right. So that's B. Paragraph is talking about the options, uh, uh, which is like the traveling option, like how they can move around the city. Right. So comprehensive services there, shuttle buses are there to have a look around the city and the prices are competitive, right? And the brochures are also given about the tourist attraction. So paragraph B is 10, tourist travel center. Then passengers who require urgent medical attention should dial 9877 on a public telephone in a terminal. The upper pharmacy is located on the ground floor near the departure lounge and stocks a comprehensive range of products. So the paragraph C10 is five, healthcare services, because this is about health facilities, right? Then departing passengers can completely see their luggage or packaging in recyclable polythene to protect them from damaged luggage storage charged at $10 per hour is available on the first floor. Transit passengers have free access to storage facilities. So D is talking about the luggage things, the storage facility. So that is three, baggage services. Right. So this is talking about luggage, storing the luggage, you know, just protecting it. So baggage services. Every international passenger, with the exception of children under 12 years of age and transit passenger in Auckland for less than 24 hours, is required to make a payment of $25 when leaving the country. This can be arranged at the National Bank on the ground floor. So this is about the E paragraph 12 number question. So this is about some fees to be paid, right? On which condition? And it is on the departure time. So the answer to this one is 12 is nine, departure fees. As Auckland International Airport has adopted the quiet airport concept, there are usually no assignments made over the public address system. Detail of arrivals and departures are displayed on the monitors located in the terminal halls and lounge areas. So this is following some technique and how the information is available. So the paragraph F is about like information. So six is the answer is here that flight information, how you will be receiving it. The airport caters for the needs of business travelers and has several rooms available for seminars or business gatherings. These are located adjacent to the airport medical center on the first floor. For information and booking, please contact the airport business manager on extension 5294. So 14-4, that is meeting facilities, right? So business is with meeting, 14 is for four. So that's called meeting facilities, right? So these are the answers here. All right, so let's move to the next passage quickly and I'm not uh, stopping you. Meanwhile, all the passage you will be doing all together, right? And uh, then only I'll be just asking for the answers from you. Just a sec. Just a second, yeah. So it's about planning gap here, right? We got the, it is again the general reading paragraph as this is a bit quick. So we'll be just doing this one here right now. Yeah. So just a sec, I'm showing you the questions there. So first questions are true, false, not given. That's what we'll be doing first. 
and just on the screen in a sec i just by mistake written the answer with that i'm just removing them this is very interesting passage again planning a gap here knowledgeable passage as well so yeah it is about planning a gap year and these are the yes no no not given question like five questions are there oh sorry true false not given and i can improve the font size of this a bit more as we have this option right fine true false not given so you don't need this one okay so 15 for some young british people the purpose of a gap year is to improve their academic qualification so quick questions here so we will be doing it together so you find it i'll also keep finding with you and we will be keeping on discussing how the answer come right the purpose of gap year is to improve their academic qualification
Okay, so the answer to this question, you find it out. If you find it out, move to the next one. Shooting star finds employment for young people in the catering industry. Training with shooting star can be expensive.
Okay, let's talk about the answers here. The answer to the question number one. For some young British people, the purpose of a gap year is to improve their academic qualification. This is false because what they are saying in this passage when you started, it says, uh, just a sec, let me go to it. So you are uh, having the best reason to take a gap year between school and work and how you can what is you gaining in return is improving your cv with the experience overseas so not to improve the academic qualification it is to improve the uh her everyone's cv experience overseas right so false shooting star find employment for young people in the catering industry so they are saying in the second paragraph that the many magazines are full of wanted adverts for washing up in a restaurant but they don't work uh, with that way because they provide another sort of adventurous job outdoor. So this is also a false answer. Then the next one, training with shooting star can be expensive. So if you read the whole of this planning a gap year thing, there is no mentioning of how much it costs. So no expense sort of thing is mentioned here. So the answer to this question is not given. Now, new trainees find it easy to get the sort of work they want so yes this is a true answer like after they are saying in the paragraph second and third like new trainees when you are ex got experience then it will be easy for you to get the work like to get the work they want after the uh, experience with the shooting star right so this stands true the 19th question new trainees who want work experience would check should check out vacancies before they depart. So they provide up with the skills. So they make them, uh, you know, available to the number of job. And also they let them know many of the professional agencies, right? And many of the uh, places where they can go and fill the forms up and send letters to. So the, uh, you know, the future prospective employers. And this is also true that they, should check out the vacancies before they depart. And then shooting star help with travel arrangements. So the shooting star help with the travel arrangement. It is not mentioned out there, right? So it is like they do help you with the professional training. They who do help you with the gaining overseas experience, but the traveling arrangement, they are not there part. Like you are traveling, so you need to be flexible with your tra travel plans, right? But uh, you, they are not providing any such sort of travel arrangements, right? So this is one thing you can do on your own. So accept that, uh, okay, this is false, right? So these are the answer to these question here, 15 false, uh, 16 again false, 17 not given, 18 true, 19 true, 20th false right so these are the answers here for these questions right so this is clear so this is clear raman all right so that's all for today class yes. let's, okay okay aman okay so let's uh finish this session today so these are all the questions I have and uh, the classes is provided are provided by CECA. The classes are free of the cost. We do offer the classes for other courses as well, like PT preparation, Nati CCL for Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu, Nepalese. And also we have, uh, have webinars arranged for every update you get from the Australian agency. And you can get to know about this through the uh, online webinar. You just can see the downloaded video of those webinars as well. And if you want to attend the live session, just keep checking the Facebook page because there you get information about all the webinars. And if you want to ask question to the migration agent itself, so you will be more than welcome there. So you can ask any piece of advice, right? So these are the things we are offering. And uh, I may want to I want you to remind that we also offer free TR lodgement these days. So if you are after that, or if you want to assess your PR options here, 
you want to look for the PR pathway, that service is also provided for free with the migration agent. And any education provider uh, thing you are after or you want to change your course or want to open new course or you want to start new study. So that uh, advice that counseling is also education counseling is also free. So altogether, these are the services, uh, including the overseas health cover, which we offer in the lowest in price. So these are the things we are offering with CECA. We do have branches in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and Adelaide. And also in India, we have a branch. So this is how you can contact us through Facebook page, through the number I have given you guys all, right? And uh, you can get all updates and piece of advice you are after. Right, so this is the class today. I'm ending this session right now. So see you tomorrow the same time. And uh, till then, yeah, goodbye, take care. And hope to see you soon tomorrow. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye.